Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video. And in today's video, we have a laptop. This one is a brand new. The brand for this one is called Gia brand. Pretty much this laptop I seen with the Hyundai brand and many other brands that they pretty much buy this one off to China and they just brand them, put their own brand on the top. I see one that became exactly the same one with the Hyundai, same specification. So these are really cheap made laptops, but they are really affordable. And these laptops come with a 4 gig RAM and people keep asking me on the channel if I cannot up, if why I can't upgrade the RAM. I keep telling them because the RAM becomes, they are soldered on the board, you cannot upgrade the RAM. And people, they just don't believe me. So I made this video to show them to open it up, to remove the cover so you can see it by yourself that the RAMs, there is no RAM dim in this laptop. They all become, they are all soldered on the board. Even the hard drive, the chip is soldered on the board. I made another video showing you guys how to increase the hard drive to put an extra SSD drive. So first thing first, you want to turn off the laptop. Grab yourself the screwdriver set. I recommend you guys grab the iFixit tool set for a screwdriver. They have one of the best set out there. Those are S2 classic steels. And we're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. And if you want to get the pro set, it will include you some pliers, and, I mean, some tweezers, some opening tool, and grounding wire. But if you don't want to get the pro set, just get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable and tough to open plastics. All right, once the laptop is turned off, you want to flip it upside down. Now we're going to remove all the screws except the two screws on the cover right here, because there is nothing right here underneath. Unless you upgraded the hard drive, then you can just leave it there. So let's go start removing the screws, it's starting from one corner. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could click that like button and subscribe. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. I really appreciate it. Again, the front screw, the front row screws, those are really short screws, so keep them in one pile. And the rest are medium sized screws. So don't worry about mismatching this screw. These are all the same size and height. I believe even the back side mid ones are the same. So let's put it to one side. Once you remove all the screws all around except these two, you want to grab your guitar pick, opening tool, and you want to stick it right in between the bottom cover and the top cover right there. And you just want to wiggle it around, just stick it all really deep and just twist it, twist, I'm twisting it towards the inside, the laptop, and you want to hear those clicks. At the back, same thing, right at the grill at the back right here, so let's do this corner. Right there, you want to stick it right there, and then move yourself. Okay, go all the way to the other corner. Then come to the front, grab it right here, and just don't let it go down. Do the front end. Once you did that, just lift it up, wiggle it around a little bit, and move it around. Let me see if, maybe in this model, I do have to remove these two screws, let's see. So let's go ahead and remove this screw, maybe it's holding down from the bottom case. Um, yes, it does. So go ahead and remove these two screws, my bad. Once you remove these two screws, you should let go of the screws because these risers are holding from the base. So I'll lift up the case. There we go. Now, pretty much down here, you got a humongous battery. And what you have in here, it's a motherboard. Is that it's pretty much a tablet. There's these tapes right here. So let me remove this tape so you can see. There's nothing right here. If the RAMs are not replaceable, there is no RAM dim 
under here everything is soldered on the board there is nothing on the other side there's no space to place any ram so there is no way you can upgrade the ram or do anything the only thing you can upgrade to is add an extra hard drive right over here and that's it there's nothing we can do here and uh, to put it back together let's put the tape over let's bring this over and pretty much that's it next thing is to grab the bottom cover bring it over just snap it in place press it really hard in the corners on the back end press the front end press the sides if you see any opening just pinch it and the last thing would be to just grab all the screws and put them together put the cover and then screw it back together now remember the front end screws are the short ones so don't put the long one in there otherwise you're gonna make a bump in the other side on the palm rest and that should be all for this video i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys to see what's inside your laptop and again as always thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video if you have any questions or requests leave them in the comment area and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can